Well, I really wanted to meet you today and just react to the Cezanne lookbook. This is the Cezanne editions and it's absolutely beautiful. They have released some of these pieces last year and I got a chance to try and I also own a couple of them. So I thought it would be a very interesting video to share today. This way we can talk about how we're feeling about this collection. Just so you know, this collection is more formal, it's more dressy, and it's something that feels more like for an event or a party. You will see that most pieces are not quite staple pieces or basics. They all have something bold, whether it's a silhouette, the cut, or just the color, sometimes prints as well. And they usually cost a little bit more than their regular pieces. They have very interesting pieces and some others that I don't feel they're worth the money. But of course, this is very subjective and might be something that you love and maybe I don't. But I still wanted to do the video and talk about them because I think it's just so fun to take a look at these with you together. This is the video they shared just a day ago and I thought it was really pretty the way that they made. There's basically a choreography. It's not like they are on the runway, they are actually on stage performing and it's just so beautiful. Especially the outdoors uh, video, I think it's really, truly beautiful. So this was the first picture they shared on their Instagram and I actually quite like beige. I just don't know if these will be a neutral kind of beige or more on the warm or cool tone. I am hoping that these will be flattering for most of us because honestly, I really like beige. And I think these could work as staple pieces, maybe not the dress, not the jumpsuit, or maybe not this one, but definitely the pants and the top for sure. So I really like the, the texture. You can see here it has this beautiful detail. This dress is actually new, the Mariama, Mariama dress. It looks like it's in linen and I really like the cut. I'm pretty sure that this won't be very friendly for ladies like me with curves because of the cut. Usually dresses like this without any stretch, they get a little bit loose around my waist. But if you have a more straight figure or if you don't have the ratio that I do, I think it's definitely going to be very flattering. Now we can see better the, the photos here. I absolutely love this set. To me, from all the beige pieces, this is the one that caught my eye and I was really, really drawn to it. I do like the dress. We're gonna see this dress in a minute, but I just felt like wouldn't be very practical. It is a very pretty dress, but I don't know how much I would actually wear. This model, by the way, she's so pretty. I think she lost a lot of weight. You can see her collarbone and she looks pretty both ways. I just love her and I love that Cezanne has her in this collection. Now the jumpsuit is really beautiful. Luana jumpsuit. It's one of those pieces that I love to have in my wardrobe because of how it elongates you. Jumpsuits are just very easy pieces for me, even though this one has a completely open back. I just love this huge bow here. It kind of hides a little bit of your skin. So if that's a concern, I think the huge bow could definitely be something to help you with that. Then here is more details on the set. I love this blouse. I'm definitely going to try this one. It looks more formal, but I can see like this with shorts or also with jeans, I feel like but I do love how they look together. Obviously the pants will be really long for us that are not very tall, but something that you can definitely hem. And as always, they made the entire set. So I see here the Gina jacket, which is completely new. It kind of looks like the Michelle jacket, but it has some differences in terms of the lapel and also the button. Very pretty. Here's some more details. Look at the buttons on this blouse. I love these buttons. They're so beautiful. And by looking close, you can see that it's definitely linen. I just don't know if it's going to be 100% linen or if it's a linen blend. Now, the sandals, I'm not a fan. I really don't like huge bows and just like those girly things. It's just not my thing, but definitely a statement piece. Here's more details on the pants, which I really like. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be flattering on me but I'm still gonna try them just in case, you never know. Now the dress, I have mixed feelings because at first I thought it was just incredibly beautiful. Also, I noticed there's gonna be a midi version for this. It's not just a short one. I saw a black in the midi version, but at the same time, I just feel like this is a wrapped towel. Do you have that feeling? <laughs> it just gives me that feeling. I don't know, maybe with a blazer, 
or maybe as is but with something more interesting going on i just feel like it's a little bit too plain i don't know how the cut is going to, going to be i would love to try that i'm not gonna lie now here we're talking we have the blouse again but this time with the sophie skirt and i own the sophie skirt from last year i tried that in terracotta and also black and i ended up keeping the terracotta color which was stunning truly one of the most beautiful pieces i own from Cezanne. and now they have this in beige so just so you know this fabric at least for mine was a really thick linen like extremely high quality i have a lot of linen pieces from multiple brands but this one in particular was a really thick and very very well made type of fabric so i definitely think it's worth the price tag especially in this color because you can definitely wear that in so many ways i actually styled my sophie skirt with different tops and i really loved it here i see another beautiful stunning piece my gosh i've never seen something like this i think this is so gorgeous the basket it looks very small like just a little purse for a party or something but i can totally see you know us wearing this during spring and summer and it's just gorgeous whether you're going to the beach and you just need something small you know to put your essentials inside i just love this and i can't wait to see that in person the sandals are coming soon they look really beautiful very dressy uh, this set is also not available yet. It's not going to be available tomorrow, but I think it's really beautiful. This muted red to me is just spectacular. Look at the colors together, how this khaki basket looks against this brick color. It's just so beautiful. And they're going to have the Layla dress as well. I reviewed the Layla dress last year, so I'm going to show you guys a very quick mod shot so you have an idea but i'll show you uh, when we go to the next color because the layla dress is going to be it's this one it's going to be available in a few colors now this bag my gosh i can't stop thinking about this bag i have a feeling this is going to sell out so fast even though it's quite expensive it's almost 300 dollars. but for this style for the design i just think it's so unique i would happily pay i'm not gonna lie now here's another detail on the layla dress and that's the one I mentioned that I tried last year in a fuchsia color. That was so beautiful. Unfortunately, this was polyester. And if I'm not wrong, that's the reason I didn't keep. This is a dog here with me. Don't get scared. Um, and But it's a really, really stunning piece. I can tell this is very dressy. However, if you're wearing just flat sandals and a raffia bag, you can easily wear this in a more casual way. The jumpsuit is beautiful, the Stella jumpsuit. I wonder how the fit is going to be. And here we have more linen pieces. I see here a top and a skirt. But they together, it just looks like a dress, which I really like. We're going to see them right here as well. So here they are. It's a midi skirt. I don't think the blouse is that flattering. It looks very boxy to me, so I'm not sure how this would be in real life. But I'm, I'm very excited to see. The color is really pretty. Here's the Layla dress in green, which is like this khaki color. I'm not a huge fan of sequins. I think pieces in sequins, they're actually very pretty, but they're not very practical. So maybe if you want to own like one piece in sequins, well, I'll say just go and get it. But it's just not great for the environment. There's just so many articles talking about sequins and I just don't like them so much. I don't think I own any sequin piece. I can't think of any. But I'm not here to talk about that. I think you should judge, you know, uh, according to your feelings regarding that. Well, it feels like a party dress, so it wouldn't really fit my lifestyle. But maybe that's for you. Now, these sandals, the meals, I actually try them. I have them here. I'm going to do a review for you guys uh, very soon. I have them not in gold. I have in like a brown color. And just so you know, I sized up for mine. I am in between eight and a half and nine, and I went with the nine. And that would be 39 and a half European, which is my actual size, and I went with the 40. So here's more pictures of the Layla dress. I think this dress is stunning. It's coming in white as well, right here. Beautiful. If you're getting married and you want something white, I think it's, this is just fantastic. I love this blouse as well, but it feels really dressy. So in my opinion, it's gorgeous, but it's not practical and definitely not something I would buy, would purchase just because of that. I wouldn't wear enough. 
This looks like the Lulu trousers. I think they already released this before. Here's more details on the blouse. Now, one thing I'm very excited, and I'll tell you why, it's this bag. Because look at the strap. It's a metal strap. I always wondered why Cezanne did they make their Milo bags, their mini Milo bags, with a detachable strap. It would be so much easier to wear this like from day to night. I feel like the metal just dresses it up so much more than if you actually had the, the leather strap. The leather strap just makes it a little bit more casual. So I really love that they are coming with this new style. And I hope they make that in more colors because I love my mini Milo. I have three mini Milos actually, and I wear them so much. Now here we have some more white pieces. The, those are the Silvio trousers and I saw this in black as well. They look like a really, really, really wide leg pants. I, I actually like them because they're very flowy. I don't, I'm normally not into super wide leg pants. They're not flattering on me. But because these are flowy, I think they could actually work. And I love how they combined this blouse and the, the jacket. The jacket is called Agnes, and that's also completely new. They don't have this on the website. The earrings are very cute too. I think such a statement, very bold. I'm not a huge fan of the dress. I think this is like, if you're going to the Oscar, it just feels like too much for me. I'm sure a lot of you will love this, like this huge bow here and the extra fabric. This is all extra, but I'm just not a huge fan. The sandals I do love, love gold sandals. They're just so beautiful. And I think everyone should have either a pair of gold sandals or silver sandals because they're just perfect for any occasion, like parties, you know, something like a special event. Here's more details on the dress. I totally get why this is 300 bucks because there's just so much fabric. I wonder what fabric this is going to be. Now here we have again the Claire blouse and the Sophie skirt that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You will see this in many colors and this is the first time I see Cezanne making a style with so many different colors. Usually they release one by one, but I quite love the white and I have the Claire blouse right now. That's what I'm wearing. And like I mentioned, I have the terracotta as well from last year. Absolutely beautiful. And the skirt is just so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They have also this belt, which I noticed. I, I thought at first it was part of the skirt, but it's actually a belt that you can buy separately. It's $125 here. And if you're not a fan of midi skirts or like long skirts, they have the Malia skirt. I tried that with the Farm Rio collection, Cezanne Farm Rio last year. And I remember that I tried both four and six. They both fit, but I prefer the six on me. Very, very pretty. I absolutely love this set. Here's more details on the sandals, but let's go ahead. Now, I have tried the Rome shorts in this fabric. And the fabric didn't feel great. I mean, it wasn't scratchy or anything. But it felt a little bit rough when I touched. I don't know if it's the same exact fabric. This is definitely not a flattering color on me. It's very yellow, green-like. And I think it looks gorgeous on her, but not so much on her. Do you guys agree with me? So it seems they have a few pieces in this fabric, which I'm not a huge fan. But again, it's you could have just one or two pieces and just rock it, you know? Now, the sandals are really unique. They're definitely not something I would wear. This is really not me. The color is not me. The bows are not me. They're very interesting. And I think if you know how to style these, they could definitely be beautiful, but just not something I would particularly wear. Here's more details on this new fabric, which I'm not a fan. I saw this, this blouse in other fabrics as well. So if you like the style, but you don't like the color, they will have more colors. The earrings are really pretty. I actually love Cezanne earrings. Do you guys own any of their jewelry? I just love, love, love their earrings. I think they're just so unique. Now, this is a really, really bold print. I do love polka dots, love polka dots, but I feel like these are just so, so big. You know, they're too spread out in my opinion. I think it just looks better if you are tall, if you're petite, I feel like this style is going to swallow you. So I wouldn't choose this particular style if you are petite. It is really beautiful, but really not me. 
Um, I think if they had maybe the polka dot smaller, it would be a lot easier to style. But again, this is supposed to be a really bold statement piece. So I get it. I think it's beautiful. I don't know what this fabric is, but it looks like a very nice, sturdy fabric. And they have more pieces. They also made the Sophie skirt in this fabric. But, but notice that the polka dot here is not as spread out as these. Can you see? So definitely a different fabric. I think this is a little bit stiff. It has some structure to it, but very pretty. I would likely just tuck this in. I feel like just going there with the model and saying, hey, can you just tuck it in? Um, there's more pieces in the polka dot if you don't like those. I think the jumpsuit I'm very interested in trying, but I wouldn't get the polka dot. I think I'm going to try the beige one. And this collar to me is so beautiful. I like this style. The only thing I don't love so much is the neckline. Other than that, I think it's a really pretty piece. And here's all the print. So if you guys like prints, I think this is for you. This is probably the most spring style they have come with so far because lately all their prints they have been so fall like but i feel like the lilac and the yellow together they kind of bring spring vibes there will be a lot of pieces in this fabric which i think it's very pretty i'm not gonna try these but i just wanted to mention that i do think it's very pretty and here's all the pieces that will be available in that i also love this little pouch here the carmen pouch i saw this in three colors so this one is a really pretty piece if you're going like to a wedding during the spring and summer. I think this is so gorgeous. I am very interested in seeing that in person. Now another set for Claire Blouse and Sophie skirt. This color is stunning, but it's not good on me. So I'm definitely not going to try that. But it's really pretty. And here's more pieces with the print. So they will have bikini too. I have tried a couple of bikinis from Cezanne and also bathing suit, like one piece suit. And they're quite flattering, but I feel like they run a little bit small, at least the ones that I tried. The purple is really gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Here's the pouch. I think from all the pouches, the purple is just the most beautiful. Most beautiful. This is a new pair of pants. It looks like fla flared at the bottom, which is not my style. I don't really like flare pants, but on her, on the model, it just looks really pretty. And the blouse again, the one that we saw up there, just very pretty. This dress, I feel like this is polyester. It looks like it's going to be polyester. I'm not completely sure. Also, this purple is pretty, but I prefer this one. At least on my skin tone, it would look better. I feel like this is more of a cool purple. So probably not something I would try. Also, the style is not very, you know, not something that I love. But you might. You might love it. Uh, here we have the Gina jacket. I love suits. You guys, I love suits so much. I think it looks stunning. The Camilo trousers are new too. Super flared at the bottom. So again, it's not something that I would go for. But I really love on the model. Uh, here is another detail. We have the trousers, the blouse that we saw up there. I think it's the same Lorenzo blouse. Looks very pretty, but makes me want to tuck it in, like, immediately. The shoes uh, have mixed feelings with these. I kind of like the style, but I don't like this buckle here. I think it kind of makes it tacky. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you think this way. The dress, the pearly dress, I tried last year. I didn't keep this one, although I really wanted to. And I didn't keep because the waist was just too loose for me and i didn't want to get it adjusted but this is a really pretty dress and again their linen is really great the quality is so good it's very thick i really loved it these earrings are already available i remember seeing them before and i think this collection is just really fantastic but i'm actually curious to hear from you what do you think about this collection are you planning to get something or you're just here to watch and see you know the eye candy i think these pieces are really lovely i don't think i'm going to get a lot of them i'm probably going to pick a few just to do a video and i might keep one or two but obviously because this wouldn't fit quite my lifestyle i think it's just so important to when you're buying something new it's just so important to see if you're getting this piece because it's actually going to fit your lifestyle and you're going to wear or it's just your fantasy self you know something that you think you would be 
beautiful in and maybe one day you will wear or, or maybe you 20 years ago would have worn you know what i mean so i think it's just so important to do this exercise when you're picking something new uh this way you don't have an overflowing closet but the collection is really pretty and i'm very excited to see that on sunday thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button leave a comment and i'll see you in my next video